What's going on YouTube and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this drawing right here and we're going to be determining the best way to draw this based on the dimensions that are given. So first things first, if you guys don't mind, smash that like button, hit subscribe. It really help the channel push these videos out to other people who are looking for the same type of information. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so first, after looking at this drawing, you know, obviously not all these dimensions are given in one view. Uh, this is the front view and a side view. So between these two views, all the dimensions you need are here to draw this. So look for a good place to start and uh, we'll, we'll work through it together. So for me, when I look at this, um, I'm gonna start with this front view and get this outline drawn first. That's gonna be kind of the base of, you know, whatever this drawing's built off of. So. First, we'll draw the bottom, and I can see here that it's 2.9 inches. So I'll click, and then we'll enter in 2.9 for the horizontal length. And then for the vertical length, you can see here, it's gonna be 3.5 inches. And then we know this is gonna be 2.9, and this will close off the box right there. Select the right layer. Okay, so now we want to draw the circles that are on this view here. So we know the vertical position of these circles, the center points, are given here and here. So it's saying the center point of each circle is one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom. So what I like to do is to use a line to mark where that center point is going to be. So we know that this is in the middle. So we can use the middle snap point and we'll draw a line down one inch and we'll do the same thing from the bottom and go up one inch. And these two points here on the end will be our center point locations for the circles. So next we want to draw the circles. So this bottom circle here shows that it has a diameter of 1.15. So we'll activate the circle command by hitting C and we'll click for the center point. And then instead of typing in 1.15 first, we want to hit D for diameter. And then we will type in 1.15. And it draws a circle there for you. We're now done with this line. We no longer need it, so we can delete it. And then what I'm going to do is copy this using the copy command, which is CO. We'll select the circle and hit space. And then we'll use snap to grab the center point. And we'll just copy it up there and then delete this line because we no longer need it. But if you notice in this view here, this is a hidden line with the dashes, but you need to highlight it, go in, and select the layer that is hidden that has the proper line type. Then after that, we want to go ahead and put in our center marks. So let me back up. So we want to go in and select the center line layer then we will use the cm command for center mark and we will just click each of the circles and that's the front view done all right so for the second part or i'm sorry the second view um it's a projection off of the front view so i will draw two reference lines like this doesn't matter what layer you use, what color you use, it doesn't, doesn't matter, they're gonna be erased. So what these lines are telling us is where the top and the bottom of this piece is going to be. So we know this piece is going to be 0.55 inches long. So I'll just start off by drawing a line like this. Then I'm just gonna go underneath it, doesn't matter how far down you go, then I'm gonna go over 0.55, then back up to connect to there. And that tells me the thickness of that piece. So we can delete all this now. And then we'll connect these together up here. Same thing for the center axis of these little stubs that stick out. We use two reference lines across here to tell us where the center point's going to be. And we know that these are going to be 0.75 across. So again, I'm going to draw just a reference line. So it doesn't matter how far up you come, and just draw it over 0.75 because we know that's how far out they come. 
And then we know that these have a diameter of 1.15. So we know these pieces here need to be 1.15 inches tall. So what I'll do off to the side, just anywhere, is I'll draw one 1.15 inches long. And then I'll move it, snapping onto the center, to the center point there. And then once you delete this line, that's what's left. And you just connect it in like that. And that's your first one. And we'll do the same thing over here. We know it sticks out 0.75. I'll draw another 0.7 line for reference and then come straight down. I'll draw another line that's 1.15. Then I'll move it by snapping onto the middle and putting it on that intersection. And then we can delete all of these lines here. And then again, connect it up like that. Now you want to go to your layer that you created with the uh, center line dimensions, or sorry, center line line types. And you want to use the CL command, which stands for center line. And then you want to click on the top and bottom of each one. And that gives you that shape done. So we'll move these around a little bit, make them look a little bit nicer. And now if you'll notice, the scaling is off on this line type. You see how this is just a solid line? But this one over here, has the dashes in it it's because this line type scale is too big so if you highlight each one and then type in lt scale um you kind of have to guess with this so we can start off with 0.5 and see how that looks a little too small so i'll tell you what, let's do this a different way we'll hit Control z a couple times to undo it all we'll highlight each one then we're going to type PR for properties and then hit spacebar or enter. What's going to pop up is this properties dialog box. And from here, you go into line type scale. And we tried 0.5 and we knew that was too small. So let's try 0.75. Let's make them a little bit smaller. There you go. You can see that looks pretty close. That looks pretty good. So we'll compare the two now just to make sure we didn't miss anything. But it looks like we got everything. So, yeah, I say you would have a completed drawing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.